What's up guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I'm so happy that each and every one of you are here. In today's video, we're doing festival stuff. Uh, this is the first time I'm gonna be introducing festival content onto my channel, but I also do lifestyle videos and vlogs. So if those are up your alley, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We are talking about Dance Festopia 2021. If you are interested in going into the festival or have questions about it, just at a high level, this video is for you. So go ahead and stick around and let's get into it. Dance Festopia 2021, the dates are September 9th through the 12th. And just for the rest of the video, I will be calling it Dance Fest. That's just what I call it. I've literally never called it Dance Festopia. So just know if I'm saying Dance Fest, we are talking about the same thing. It's just Dance Festopia, that's a lot. I have my notes here to the side. So if you see me glancing, that's what I'm doing. And if I do misspeak at all during this, please politely correct me. Essentially the, the point of this video is gonna be, I wanna talk about just general information about the festival. And then I also wanna talk about ticketing because uh, your girl's messed up tickets and she's bought too many <laughs> and I have tickets that I can't use that I can't like give refunds for or anything so I don't think I'm the only one and on the Facebook group I see tons of questions about ticketing so I just kind of wanted to talk through it it's different than any other festival I've been to and I think it's different than most festivals so we're gonna talk through it let's just get into general information so this festival is happening September 9th through the 12th of this year in Lacine, Kansas. It is about 15 minutes south of Kansas City. And from just like some history, from what I can see, the festival started in 2013. The headliners from 2013 were Mac Miller, Wiz Khalifa, and Porter Robinson. So this now is strictly an EDM festival, so they have kind of shifted a little bit, but Porter Robinson's EDM, so they kind of have stuck to their roots throughout the years. This now is strictly a EDM festival. It is a camping festival, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a city festival or maybe you want to do hotels and airbnbs i'm not sure if this festival is the right option for you from what i can see the closest hotels airbnbs are about 30 minutes away which depending on who you are you can definitely get that done but if you're going to rely on ubers and things i have a feeling that ubers might be kind of difficult to get because this festival is literally in the middle of nowhere. To me, it's easier just to walk up and camp. I'm a camping gal, so that's my thing. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Also, I went to this festival in 2019, so I have been once, my boyfriend has been twice, just for reference. <laughs> Dance Fest is a smaller festival has significantly less people than your bigger camping festivals that you might be familiar with, such as Electric Forest or Okeechobee. But there are so many benefits to it being a smaller festival, number one, just less people in general, especially now with COVID, there's gonna be a smaller crowd to deal with. So that's nice. The other really good thing about it being a smaller festival is that, and I'm, this sounds bad at first, but I'll flip it less stages but it's a good thing in 2019 i did not have a single set time conflict not a single one so i think technically they have three stages the emerald stage is where you will see your big headlining acts and the names that you probably know off of the lineup to me that's freaking awesome that you don't have to like trail around and especially if you have like back-to-back -back sets like if you're going to Tripoli to Ranch Arena at Electric Forest, like that's like a 10 to 15 minute walk. So you've just missed like 15 minutes of a set if they're back to back, right? That will not happen at Dance Fest. So as I'm editing this, I realize I didn't say that if you do have set time conflicts, the lollipop stage is literally less than three minute walk from the emerald stage so the walk is super short compared to other festivals and that's like the thing that i absolutely love about it is that like you pick your spot put our like blanket down or whatever and just hang out there for the whole night and like we can sit we can you know go get food we can do whatever so the other one is the lollipop stage in 2019 i spent very little time there but i did see on instagram that they are adding rv sets so if you've ever been to electric forest like day zero or like what is it, Wednesday night? They have those sets. <laughs> RV sets is not like the right word, but essentially like it's a freaking DJ set up on top of a bus. Like, so it looks like they'll be adding that. I don't know any details about it at all, but it looks like they're gonna be adding that. So that'll be really cool. That's just a high level overview of the actual festival. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but just high point. It's a three day festival with a Thursday pre-party. I don't think I said that. It is 50 minutes south of Kansas City. It is a EDM festival, primarily house and dubstep. It is a camping festival. Next thing we're gonna talk about is ticketing. Ticketing is confusing. I think it's confusing because I've bought the wrong stuff and you can't get refunds. Like it's not like I can go to this freaking store and be like, I bought the wrong one. No, there's no refunds. So don't make the mistake I did and buy the wrong shit. That's why we're gonna talk about it. 
At the time that I'm recording this video, it is April 17th. They are in tier two for pricing. It looks like they're getting close to sold out for tier two and they will be moving to tier three, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna be talking about prices of any of the tickets in this um, video, but definitely go to Dance Fest website. They will have everything for pricing and I'll also link it down below so it's easy for you to get to. So for admission into the festival, there's GA, there's VIP and there's super VIP. Obviously GA being the cheapest option and what I typically opt for. I think VIP has some like special bathrooms and stuff, which in the COVID environment might be worth it, but I, I've had my ticket since November of 2017. 2017 since November of 2018 so I'm not gonna buy any more tickets <laughs> for camping your GA VIP or super VIP does not include camping that is just admission to the festival you need to make sure if you are camping that you buy a camping pass your three-day camping pass is forest camping and what I mean by that is where you're actually in a forest you have trees around you have shade and it's first come first serve so we'll get into this in a little bit but they do have early arrival on Wednesday and Thursday so if you are picky about where you want to be I would maybe recommend getting there early if there are no like segregated spots you can take up as much or as little space as you'd like, obviously with the respect of others. You're not like neck and neck with someone right next to each other, like breathing in people's, you know, tents like other festivals. So that's your three-day camping pass. They do have a three-day car camping pass option, which is what I just spoke about. So if you're familiar with pretty much any other camping festival, so you essentially get a lane, you have your car back here, and then you have like your canopy, and then you have your tent. And like everything's right here, you are right next to your car. It is convenient because like you can keep your valuables in your car. I will say there's no shade, no shade at all, no trees, no nothing. It's like you're in a field, but they those are currently sold out, but you can't add yourself to the wait list. So if that's something that you're interested, I will get your name on the wait list sooner rather than later. And then of course there are RV passes as well. I'm not familiar with RV stuff. I've never done anything like that. So I will refer you to the website for details on RV passes. So next thing is early arrival. So we talked about it just a little bit ago, but there are the options of getting there on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday early arrival tickets, which include the Thursday pre-party. So if you purchase Wednesday, do not purchase Thursday. That's what I did. I didn't notice until literally like a year later. So if like yeah, last year was normal, I probably would have been screwed. Anyways, so that's why I'm creating this video. So you guys don't do what I did. Wednesday early arrival, you will get access to camp for two days and you will also get access to the pre-party on Thursday. If you buy the Thursday one, it's literally the same thing. You get there on Thursday, you can go to the pre-party and you can camp on that Thursday. Like if you get these early arrival passes, you still have to get the other two that I've spoken about. So like if you're, go let's say you're going in on Wednesday. In your cart, you want to make sure you have your like GA ticket. You want to make sure you have your camping pass and then your Wednesday early arrival pass. You have to have all three of those in your cart. Hopefully that makes sense. Don't do what I did and make the mistake of having too many tickets and spending unnecessary money. For those of us that will be camping, which I think is the majority, and if you are a shower person, some people don't shower at camping festivals, like more power to you, you will have to purchase an unlimited shower and relaxation station access pass. And that is a mouthful. Fortunately, those are sold out. It's not like electric forest where you just go pay to shower. You have to have the bracelet or like the wristband to get into the showers, but it is like an actual building. It's not a trailer or anything. Another option that I saw was really cool. So if you are traveling from out of state or just are not bringing a tent with you for whatever reason, you can purchase one through Dance Fest and they will have one at the camping office site when you arrive. So I think that's really cool for those of us. Well, I'm from out of state, but it's like four hours away. For those of people that are like flying into the festival, that's super helpful. Here's your high points. It is a three day festival with the Thursday pre-party. You need to make sure that if you are camping, you have a camping pass. You want to make sure that you have access to the festival with your GA VIP or super VIP ticket. If you get early arrival, buy one Wednesday, you do not need to buy a Thursday pre-party pass as well. The Wednesday one covers it. I think that's it for general info. This will be my first video for Dance Fest. I have some like what to expect or what to bring. I have so many things, I like so many ideas, so much stuff. I love festivals, I love talking about it and I wanna help you prepare. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have any other questions. I would love to answer them or anything about Dance Fest in general. And if I don't know the answer, I can definitely try to find it. Thank you again for sticking with me until the end. I love you so much and I will see you guys in the next one.